Hello, my name is Kwejo Brobe. I have a question for you. What is the first thing that comes into mind when you hear the name Albert Einstein, Oprah Winfrey, Mark Zuckerberg, Martha Luther King, Jeff Bezos? Hmm, I'll give you a moment to think about that. Uh, you see, lots of things comes into mind. You think about entrepreneurs, we think about high achievers. We think about people that made great impacts and also impacted society. Great contributors to human society, I would say. I would say a league of extraordinary human beings. Another question for you. What is the thing that all of them share in common? I'll give you a moment to think about that too as well. Can I go? I'd like to share. Did you know that all of these great human beings all had self-doubt at one point in their lives? Now you may be asking yourself, how is that possible? I mean, when I think about Oprah Winfrey, all I think about is her, her show, she's a billionaire, and also she gives away free cars. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. We all get cars. When I think about Martin Luther King, I have a dream. And when I also think about Albert Einstein, first thing that comes to mind is that E equals to MC squared, but I still don't know what that is, actually. Okay, I lied. I do know what that means. It means energy is equal to mass times the speed of light. But this is not a physics channel, so let's just brush this to the side, right? And also, when I think about Jeff Bezos, Amazon. I mean, my light, the lightning and uh, my tripod that I'm using for this shoot came from Amazon. And when I think about Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, social media. So how is it possible that these extraordinary human beings that contributed to society and made changes to our lives, how is it that they had doubt? It's quite interesting when you think about it. The thing is this, granted that they had doubt, doubt didn't define them. They were able to overcome their barriers, the things that stood in front of their face, their self-questioning, these doubts to go on and achieve great things. You see, doubt is part of a human experience. It's natural. It's, all of a, it's natural for all of us to experience doubt. Question for you again. When was the last time you decided to do something rad? Maybe ask your boss for a raise? Or you go out and you see the nice, beautiful girl and you just wanted to get her number? Or you go out with your friends and you see that guy that looks interesting and you wanted to go up to him and introduce yourself? Or maybe just make a decision to start a YouTube channel or or something rad. How did the outcome of it go? Were you able to do it? Or did you not do it? If you did do it, then congratulations. I'm proud of you. But if you didn't do it and you were held down by doubt, again, congratulations. I'm proud of you because the thought of doing something rad came into your mind and that says a lot about you. So, the thing is this, doubt, as I've already mentioned, is part of human experience. It's something we experience every day whenever we decide to do something new. Now, how is it possible that the great extraordinary human beings that I've mentioned earlier were able to come over their doubts and go ahead and achieve great things? Easy question is, they were able to figure out certain things, certain tools, certain techniques to overcome their doubts. I'd like to share a few with you. Two, two pointers when it comes to dealing with doubt. First one is this. If you wanna overcome doubt, simply change the story you tell yourself. If you tell, your story, if you tell yourself a story that, huh, I want to ask my boss for a raise, but I don't deserve it. 
I don't think I'm qualified enough. That will eventually become your reality and you find yourself not doing the thing that needs to be done to ask your boss for a raise. If you see an attractive person outside and you want to just approach approach them, talk to them, do it. Just do it. Change the story you tell yourself. Hey, if you keep telling yourself that, oh, I don't think they're interested in me. I don't think they're checking out for me. Oh, my breath stank. Oh, I'm not dressed properly. Well, that will become your reality. And another tip to overcome fear and doubt is this. Do the things you fear the most. Do the things that generates doubt in you. It's quite simple. If you're able to do the things you fear the most and do it over and over and over again, the guarantee of the death of the doubt or the fear will be gone. The more you do something, the more you become comfortable with it, the more your confidence in doing it, and you won't be so worried about it. There are multiple tools, there are multiple tips on how to overcome doubt and certain things that may hold us back from achieving great things. It's been a life long journey of mine to be a support system, be a brother of encouragement for people that go through things in life where they just need support, they just need a little bit of push. You see, within each and every one of us, we have talents, we have treasures, we have something to offer the world. But so often, we dare not take the steps. We don't follow through because we are faced with doubt. We are faced with self-worth. We are faced with a lot of things such as imposter syndrome that, can I really do this? Am I really up to this? Well, this desire of mine to help others, to encourage, to motivate, has led me to creating this YouTube channel. And without further ado, I would like to formally welcome you, drum roll please, to my YouTube channel titled Quajo Speaks. Yeah, I know, Quajo Speaks. Yeah, well, I hope you love the title anyways. But Quajo Speaks is a channel that is dedicated for you and is made for you. In this channel, you will find content that seeks to motivate you, that seeks to answer a lot of questions that, we, that you may have, such as self-worth, doubt, worthiness, am I confident enough, can I do it? It's all contained here. This is a channel that covers topics such as motivation, self-worth, confidence, and also self-help. Every week, I plan on dropping a, dropping a video that will, exp that will approach these different areas. Now, I want to tell you something. You're amazing, you're wonderful, and you're beautiful. Somebody told you that today? Well, I would love to be the first to tell you that. And if somebody asks, the merrier, the better. And this is exactly what this channel seeks to aim. We aim to encourage, we aim to empower, and we aim to bring out our hidden treasures that lace within us. And I would like to thank you for giving me the opportune moment and listening to me and visiting me on my page. Now, before you go, I have just one more favor. Please, i like to know what were your thoughts when I asked the initial question. Well, not the initial question. I believe it was the second question. Yes, the second question on what are the common things that the great extraordinary people have mentioned about that they share. I want to know what was the first thing that came in mind. If you find something else, let me know. So kindly leave a comment and subscribe as we move on with this journey. I'd love to know what your thoughts, what your thoughts are, and I am looking forward to walking on this journey with you. Talk to you later. All right. Bye.